So in the early days of this disease, the first conservation management action was to put some devils away somewhere safe, isolated from the disease, where we could maintain a population of healthy devils that could be used to reintroduce them to the wild. The rate at which Tasmanian devils have been declining throughout Tasmania makes the threat of extinction a possible outcome. Uh, and we're quite concerned about that, and that's where we're trying to put our efforts in to learn more about the disease itself. At the moment, we're working with the genome sequence and with a large drug screen here at the Sanger Institute to try to identify targeted molecules which act against specific mutated proteins in the devil cancer which may be effective treatments for this disease. We still have a lot of work to do, uh, but we have researchers from all over the world uh, working on this problem um, in the UK and in Tasmania and in, in Hobart. And so we hope that eventually we will have something that could tip the balance in favour of the Tasmanian devil and give them a fighting chance to survive in the wild.